All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about what gene sequencers do. There have already been several videos that I've made about gene sequencing. This word comes up quite a bit. Uh, what it actually means is to sequence a gene is to determine the base sequence of that actual gene. So to figure out the relative T's, A's, C's, G's, the order that they're actually spelled out in. And you can find out, you can reveal a lot of information by being able to sequence or determine an actual base sequence here. So one method that was actually used uh, was developed by Sanger. And I've made a very complex, ended up being way too long video, but it had to be that long for me to explain all the details going on behind it so from topic 7.1 if you're 7.1 if you're actually doing the higher level uh, portion of the syllabus then you should definitely watch that to understand a little bit so recurring theme here is that there are improvements in technology that help us to be able to speed up the process this is also linked to databases i've made a lot of videos about databases recently and being able to find and access this information in databases to help reveal uh, information about how different uh, organisms are related, our evolutionary history, and looking for mutations in, in unique kind of genetic diseases as well too. So I talked about in this video in the end, if you can basically take a unknown sequence and so say take one of my genes, you know, there's something going on with my body, I want to see if there's a unique mutation that's going on so I can sequence I can give a sample of my DNA from you know cells from the inside of my cheek or some other source and we can basically put it through a bunch of machines and go through a very complex process that's basically getting cheaper to do these days and the technology is pretty neat and instead of having to go and do this by hand as old uh, methods required you can actually add fluorescent dyes to it to speed up the reading and the detection and computer hardware and software can work together to actually be able to read the fluorescent markers and give a really uh, speedy readout of the actual base sequence so really a lot of the content of this video has actually been covered in detail in other parts of the syllabus but I thought it was necessary to include it in here because in this particular section about genes there's some emphasis being given to reminding us about what gene sequences are actually able to do. So there's fluorescence involved to help us read everything faster. Gel electrophoresis is a technique to help separate these different sizes. You can detect the colors and then the computer can basically deduce the base sequence from the order of these colors. So a lot of recurring themes in here. New technology leads to advance advancements in research and advancement in science and also about sharing information around the world with lots of databases that people can access to help be able to discover new things about the stuff that makes us live.